Welcome to our Programming Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many C++ developers encounter. Why does narrowing conversion only trigger an error in the first line of this code snippet? Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. New let's start by understanding what narrowing conversion means in C++. Narrowing conversion occurs when a value is converted to a type that cannot represent all possible values of the original type. In the first line of code, we have an initialization using curly braces. This is known as list initialization. The line int a l d triggers a narrowing conversion error because the compiler detects that the long double cannot be safely converted to an int without potential data loss. In contrast, the second line int b equals l d also uses list initialization but it is treated differently. The compiler allows this because it recognizes that the value is being assigned after the type has been declared, which can lead to a different interpretation. Now let's look at the third line, int cld. This uses direct initialization, which does not enforce the same narrowing checks as list initialization. The value will be truncated, but no error is raised. In summary, the error in the first line is due to strict checks on list initialization, while the second line behaves similarly but is treated differently by the compiler. The third line allows truncation without an error. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Narrowing conversion errors occur during list initialization in C++11 and later. The compiler must issue a diagnostic for these cases. However, for older initialization methods without curly braces, no diagnostic is required. For more details, you can check the CPP reference documentation on narrowing conversions. Additionally, there's a discussion on why the compiler may only issue a warning instead of an error. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya. What?